Uh, it's not ideal weather at all. I'm gonna get the beetle unloaded because we were loading something else up onto the trailer and this is what we're here to get. What is up guys, welcome back. We are still in Fort Myers, Florida for Eurotripper 11. And today's the day of the show. So we are currently headed to get breakfast and it's kind of been a Eurotripper tradition. We're going to get breakfast with my friend Tony at Waffle House. And then we'll make our way over to the showground. We are obviously in the OBS right now that we've been taking back to the farm that we're staying on uh, in a little camper up in uh, Northern Fort Myers area. All right, guys, we're here at the stadium, thankfully getting a stroll in on one of the carts. Weather is beautiful. We just ate breakfast with Tony, and we are carrying the precious cargo. As most of you guys know, I made the awards for the show this year, so we have those on board, delivering them in person. There you go. There you go. Good girl. Good girl, Daisy. Hang out in the shade for a while. as I like go to each show. And as you can probably imagine, that was made within minutes of like trying to get out the door and leave. My ethos is embodied in that, of yeah. like rushing, last second. Oh, guys. I appreciate it. Yeah, I absolutely, really man. Well done, sir. Thank you. Well done. I mean, yeah. it's a level of quality that I strive to meet. Do you strive to actually meet that level of quality? In my head, I do. <laughs> in your head, in your head, but what are you doing? That's just, that's just the same thing, but yeah. on a different path. Yeah, and exactly. That's cool. That's yeah. Cool. All right, guys, that's the end of Eurotripper 11. Did not film much at all, but spent most of the day just talking with friends and hanging out and just being in the moment. And then sometimes it's just really weird to pull a camera up and just film everybody's faces all day. I know this is like the most common thing I say at the end of the, all these episodes, especially when we're out at shows, that I didn't film as much as I wanted to. But in the end of this episode, you will see why we came down here aside from Eurotripper content. So. We have a lot going on tomorrow. I'm super excited to show you why we're going over to Miami. Stay tuned for that. We're gonna go get some food. How hungry are you? Starving, I'm so hungry. <laughs> so we're gonna go get food. We're gonna go load this thing up, get ready to head to Miami tomorrow morning. All right guys, we're all loaded up. Well, not strapped down yet because I left all of my straps in the camper back at the field, or on the farm I should say, because that milk crate is huge. And I didn't think to just put it in the bed of my truck when we came down here, forgetting that I had to load up tonight and just come back to get this trailer first thing in the morning before we hit the road to Miami, probably in the pouring rain. But I have to spend all night editing. The previous episode you guys have already seen, I have to be up 
all night tonight editing that. I'm not looking forward to it. I probably won't get any sleep tonight. And on our way out of the showgrounds in the wide open field, what would be the chances of colliding with a golf backing up? Here and here. I'm only showing you guys this because this is real life. This is what happens. So the field is just scattered with a bunch of random parked cars. Most all the cars are gone. Kayla and I are just putting through the field on our way out. She's taking a photo of an SQ5 over her right shoulder. I look over my right shoulder for a second to see what she's taking a photo of. And two of the parked cars on my left, one of them wasn't parked anymore. A photographer was backing him up and he wasn't even looking. I wasn't looking at the time and we grazed each other. And luckily the only damage was this fender, which a lot of you guys know is not the original fender. It's not even the 64 fender. They've been painted. <sighs> And luckily, his Mark VI just had some scrapes along the paint. And luckily, he works at a body shop, so he's not concerned about his paint. There's just a few scrapes. There's most of the damage came to the old Volkswagen 10, unfortunately. Oh, uh, we got a little bit of hammer and dolly work to do when we get back. It's honestly not that bad. We'll be able to hammer and dolly this out, no problem. It fits the aesthetic of the car. But these things happen. It's a major bummer, but it's not the end of the world. And let's go get some food. We're sunburned. We're hurting. It's been a great day though. Have you had a good day today? Yeah. I'm sunburned. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, so am I. All right, next morning, we have run out to JetBlue Stadium to load up the trailer and the Beetle. And as you can see, there is no one else here. We are the last people standing and we are racing a major storm that's coming in off the Gulf Coast right now. It's already started to rain a little bit. So I'm gonna strap this thing down as quickly as I can and then we're gonna go get coffee and food and we'll hit the road east, out across the Everglades towards Miami. All right guys, we're out in Alligator Alley right now, halfway across the Gulf Coast, the Atlantic Coast of Florida. I've uh, never driven down through here before. Been through almost every corner of Florida, but not across Alligator Alley. We've got this storm that's coming in off the Gulf, and we're actually kind of like trying to race ahead of it. But I think once we get to Hialeah, we're going to ultimately have it catch up to us. We'll see. Excited to show you guys what's going on, but we got some work to do once we get there, and hopefully we're not doing it in the pouring rain. I'll show you guys what this trip kind of turned into and how excited I am about it. All right, guys, we made it to Hialeah. Uh, it's not ideal weather at all. I'm gonna get the Beetle unloaded because we were loading something else up onto the trailer. So we're here with Pep and his family and he hit me up probably about, I don't know, a few weeks ago and said, hey, I got a, I got a car. If you want it, you can come get it. There are actually two cars. And I said, I only got room for one. And this is what we're down here to get. A 1972 Type 3 Fastback. Now, a lot of you guys may know that I've always wanted a Fastback. Didn't think it would be right now that we'd be taking this project on. But we're here. This was something that he was trying to clear room out of, a project that he didn't have time to get to. So we're down here near Miami, picking this thing up and loading it on the trailer with the Beetle and hauling this thing home. The second we get out of the truck, we all get notifications on our phone. Tornado warning in the area. The sky opens up, the wind gets bad. So we've been waiting it out, and now that it's sprinkling, uh, gonna get out there and work as fast as possible. I brought some roller wheels. As you can see, these tires are no good, but he's already got it up on jack stands. I brought some rollers, and uh, we're gonna get some wheels under it. And that is why I brought the winch, just in case we have issues pushing it, we'll be able to winch it on. And again, hopefully avoid some more downpours. There's a full-blown lake in front of the truck right now. Uh, it is rushing. Ideally, I would pull the beetle forward, but for how long the fastback is, 
they have the type one and type threes have the same wheelbase, but the fastback body is longer than the beetle. So I think we're gonna winch the fastback on straight, put it over the headboard. Won't start, obviously. No. Nope. Okay, see if this works. All right, jump pack number one, not working. I'm gonna try jump pack number two, because I've got two, and then I've got jumper cables. Third is pull the beetle as far forward as possible. Hopefully we can get over the headboard with how low it is. Run my winch cable underneath the beetle and pull the fast back on, and we try to do this in an opposite orientation. So, figures all weekend long this thing starts, and now it won't. That's just par for the course, again. All right, jump pack number two. Come on, come on. Yes. Okay. So this is what Hal and Perry at Quick Everett's were mounting up for me. Since you guys saw the state of the wheels and tires on that fastback, the wheels won't even hold air even if we got tires on them because there's too much rust. <laughs> she's, she's tender, but this thing will be pretty sweet. These things are roached. Not just the tires, but the wheels as well. So watch your hands. These tires are just shredded. All right, so we couldn't get the Firestone tire to hold any air at all. But luckily, this has the factory spare in it that's been under cover its whole life. So it's not too rusty, and the tire's good enough to hold air. So we're going to swap them around, and plan B is working. But the car doesn't have a steering wheel. No steering wheel in the car. Is the other one moving with it? Yeah. Okay. It's stuck now. Stuck here forever, actually. I got it. I figured it out. Oh, there we go. I got it now. Now it's a neutral. But if it had a T handle, you'd probably pull up yeah. to get it out of park. So I just pulled the shaft up and it released. Ingenuity. <laughs> now we're actually still good. Here, let me turn the tires a little bit. Stop it. Oh, it turns yep. easy, too. All right, hold up. Yep. I've never had a yeah, car roll out. Roll as easy, right? I've never had a car roll as easy. <laughs> it's a bug. Yep. Beautiful. Like a glove. Yep. There's a tow hook on the passenger side. That was easier than going around the beam. All right. Let me know. Yeah, go ahead.
something smells so good. This is a neighborhood that cooks good food. You can tell that. You can definitely tell. Those things are heavier than they look with a whole full spool of metal cable. I should have left the winch on just in case we can't get the beetle started again. All right guys, well, the Type 3 Fastback and the Beetle are on. I backed it on first only to see what I was gonna have for overhang. I would rather have the motors here, like when I run the Corvair and the 700. Um, I like having the weight over the axles the most, but with a full car ahead of my front axle, the engine of the Fastback is even ahead of the, my front axle. I've got so much tongue weight that I can do with the rear of the Beetle overhanging the trailer. I won't have too much tail weight on this at all. As you can see, it's sitting just fine. So just gonna figure out a safe way to strap it down. We'll get this thing sorted out as well. And this neighborhood is cooking. Sunday afternoon, they're cooking. This whole neighborhood smells like unbelievable Cuban food. And it's making us even more hungry. All right guys, we are strapped down. Look at this setup. How cool is this setup? We got a Type 3 Fastback, which are getting super rare. 64 small window Beetle, both with epic patina. The Beetle's already slammed on a 24 foot single car trailer. 24 foot trailers are the move, guys. Seriously, if you've got small cars or air cooled cars, look at this. And they're safely strapped down too. <laughs> this is so sick. That's a wild looking car. So crazy. <laughs> all right, guys, we're all loaded up. Huge thanks to Pep. Thank man, you. thank you so much, Appreciate man. It. This is crazy. Honestly crazy. He hit me up, said, if you want to do something with it, come get it. We're going to do something with it. It's Pep Does It yeah. on Instagram, right? Yeah, yeah. Check him out on Instagram. Pep Does It. He's got a sweet bag dually. The S2000 is wild. That's sitting on one of Josh Joyce's Village Custom frames and it is a wild rig. You see a lot of content there. Right-hand drive S2000, open wheel hot rod, LS, manual, six speed. Infinity six speed. Yeah, that's what your dad was saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. Well, this has been awesome, man. It's been a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. Man, this has been awesome. All Seriously, right. man, I'm so stoked. It's not like we needed more no, time no, no, or more yeah. projects, but a fastback's always been on the list. I've always wanted to do a fastback, so I'm super stoked to, awesome. to dive into that. You glad I got home? Yeah, yeah, seriously, man. Go eat, we're gonna go eat. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> All right, guys, we are just around the Merritt Island area. Getting another fuel stop. We stopped and got food and coffee a little earlier. This thing is riding perfectly. Weight distribution is honestly perfect. I've had the cruise control set at 78 miles an hour or so. Just cruising, windows down. The trailer is staying straight behind me. It's not skating at all. Weight is perfect. I'm gonna stay with my friend Robert Kennedy up in St. Augustine for the next couple of days. We're gonna just chill for the next day and a half or so.
Osceola. All right, guys, we're on our way home. Uh, we took a detour off of I-10. We're in the Osceola State Park, National Forest State Park. But we're on the way home. We're about six and a half hours from Chattanooga. Wanted to stop here because the weather is just beautiful. What a wild trip. The race to prep the truck and the Beetle to get to Fort Myers for Euro Tripper. We got that done without a hitch, no issues. Then from Fort Myers to outside Miami to pick up the Fastback from Pep, got that loaded up in unideal conditions, but we got it done. Stayed with my good friend Robert Kennedy in St. Augustine for the last two days, and the weather was just brilliant there as well. Get stoked on the Type 3 Fastback. My first fastback. We've got a ton of work to do on the auto union as soon as we get back, so I'm not sure where in the schedule the fastback is going to fall, but we've already been talking to the boys at Everesto in England because you know we're gonna go to the ground with this thing at some point with Everesto bit. So get stoked on that. Lots of cool fastback content coming this spring. I didn't plan on this happening, but the shop is quickly becoming an air-cooled shop of weird oddball air-cooled cars. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. We still have about a six and a half hour drive home. Florida's been brilliant as always. Mossy oak or palm trees? Both. 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 Both are her favorites. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate all of your guys' support and for watching. We're gonna have new merch coming very, very soon, so keep an eye out for that. We'll see you guys in the next episode.